Here at Youngstown's newest coffee shop, the perfect cup starts with the perfectly roasted bean. This is our Dietrich. It's a five and a half pound max capacity roaster. Past the yellowing stage, and now it's starting to brown just a bit. So it's starting to cinnamon. When we buy coffee, they come in green. Through the roasting process, they start to look like this. To have this roaster in, its, in this space, to be roasting on site, is something that uh, we value. I like that we're able to create like our own taste profiles and what we think tastes really good. And that's really what got me started in the coffee industry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stephen Prothero is owner of Culture House Coffee Company on Elm Street. He and his wife opened the storefront in November, but the business began many years before that. My wife and I got married about five years ago now, and it all started then. We started our LLC in 2014. We owned a small coffee bar in Hubbard. We shared a space there. We started doing the Youngstown Flea. We started doing like a lot of markets to get our name out there, and then we stumbled upon this place. Prothero says they wanted to create a relaxing space where YSU students and members of the community could create, dream, and bring new ideas to Youngstown. Being in, a, in an area that's developing, and being close to the dorms, um, and a, a neighborhood, um, that's kind of how we bring it all together. So to be able to provide that for them and also the community around us, that's, that's really why we chose this, this area. I'm just gonna do like a basic latte. Compared to other coffee shops you might visit, Culture House keeps their menu small. So the idea is to be able to come in as a new customer and not be like overwhelmed. Even in the industry, like I'll go to a coffee shop and I'm like, man, what do I want? <laughs> I don't know, you know? So there's so many options out there, but we do have them. We just don't keep them on the menu. So people that come in that will ask for like an iced latte or uh, iced Americano, things like that, we have those. We can do anything that you you can dream up, but we, we keep it simple for that, for that reason. For those who prefer to make their coffee at home, Culture House sells bags of the coffee beans they roast in-house. So we generally have two to three different coffees on the shelf, so if you know that you like, I really like the house blend, we'll always have that. Mm -hmm. Or right now we're featuring the Guatemala uh, single origin, so we have that on stock right now. In the coming month, we'll probably introduce another Ethiopian to a natural process. It's really fruity, so I'm excited looking forward to that one. As soon as next month, the shop will start offering some small brunch options. But as of right now, they serve up various bakery items they get from surrounding businesses. We use people at Cultivate, people um, in the kitchen incubator. There's a guy next door at the Elm Street Diner. He makes things for us too. So. <laughs> Our hope is to have this area kind of like a hub for food almost. Mm -hmm. um, so for students to be able to come on this side of town without going further downtown on campus, mm -hmm. finding parking or whatever, you can come up here, grab a coffee, grab lunch. We love this area. We love um, what it's about and the progress we're making as a city. I feel like um, there's a focus on the students, which I think is really, really good. Um, so I, I'm excited to, to be here and, and plug into it. 717 Credit Union. Savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. 717 Credit Union. Make your money work as hard as you do.